Hey YouTube, this is a tutorial on how to play Sega CD on the computer. You're going to need three things. First off, you're going to need the emulator. Second off, you're going to need the Sega CD BIOS. And third off, you're going to need the ROM. Now I have all the links below in the description. Just follow along and you'll be playing in no time. Uh, first thing you're going to need to do is create a folder on the desktop. So I'm going to call mine Sega. Now you're going to need to get onto the description to the first link. It'll be Kega Fusion 3.64 Emulator. When you click that link, it'll take you to this website, the Emulator Zone. Uh, so if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you'll see Download. Click Fusion 3.64 and open it. Now I use Alzip as you can see right here. I mean you can use WinRAR, WinZip. This is basically just a program to open the .zip. I mean everything's compacted nowadays so this is how you open it. When you open it you'll see it here. Click Extract. Now we created a folder on the desktop. Here's the desktop as you can see which has this line going all the way down so everything on the desktop is here so go to Sega extract and it extracts it to this folder now the second thing you need to do is get the Sega CD BIOS if you go down and click the second link it'll bring you to this website ROM Nation so click download this ROM and it always makes you type in a code here just to make sure you're not some robot on the internet. It's just basically verifying that you're a human. So you type it in, click download, and you're going to open it the same way as you did with the last file because it's a zip folder. So go up to extract, and once again, go to the Sega folder you created on the desktop and in there you'll see Fusion 364 now you're going to want to extract it to there so if you click extract the BIOS is now in there so X out of everything again now we're going to go to the third the third link which is Corpse Killer so if you go down to the description and click on that link it will bring you to ROM Nation again uh, click download this ROM you're going to have to type in the code again. Two, three. Now this one takes a while to download. I mean it is basically the CD itself that you're downloading. So what it's 432 megabytes. It could take a while. So you're going to want to leave the computer, go get something to eat. I don't know. Go talk to a loved one. Your choice. I'd rather get something to eat personally. So we're going to come back whenever this is done downloading. Alright, I'm back. And Corpse Killer is just about done downloading. Uh, it feels like it took about a half hour. I guess it's going to depend on your internet speed. I'm sure some of you have better internet than I do. So it might go quicker. There we go, it's done. It uh, follows the same procedure because it's a zip file. So go to extract. Then you're going to want to extract it to that Sega folder on your desktop and go to Fusion 364 and just extract it to Fusion 364. This takes a little bit just because the file is so big. Hopefully you've made it this far. Keep in mind if you have any questions please just leave it in the comments section or send me a private message and I will be more than happy to address them.
Alright, we officially have everything we need for the tutorial. So go into that folder we created earlier, go into Fusion 364, and you'll see this icon. Double click it. This opens up the uh, emulator. Now the first thing we have to do is configure the BIOS for Sega CD. So go to Options, Set Config, up here you'll see Sega CD, USA BIOS. Click Browse, and uh, it'll take us right to this folder. See Sega CD BIOS? That's the thing, the second thing we downloaded. Click that, click Open, Apply. Okay, now before you start to play this game, I've learned that it freezes. The only way to get it to not freeze is go to Options, Set Config, Controllers, and Port 2 empty it has to be empty otherwise corpse killer will freeze all right now it's time to start the game now keep in mind that the keyboard becomes uh, automatically the controller so like the arrows will be the dialog pad and you can figure out the buttons I think there's ZX and C but go to file load Sega CD image You'll see Corpse Killer, that's the thing we downloaded. Go in there and click this one. It's the uh, ISO. Click Open. I know Enter is the Start button. You'll see Sega CD start to load. Sonic looks pretty cute. Gotta love digital pictures. It's classic. And now you're playing Sega CD. I don't know what the buttons are actually. I'm trying to figure it out. Oh shit. Mission aborted. It's actually A, A for shoot. <laughs> I was wrong. You're gonna have to look up the uh, default controls. And if you're wondering how to record Sega CD gameplay on the computer, please go to my channel and look up how to play, record, and edit Sega Genesis gameplay. Because the recording and the editing are the same for Sega CD because it uses the same emulator. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this helps you out. Uh, please rate, comment, subscribe, and have a nice day. See ya.